Welcome to a tutorial series on Twine. In this video, I'm going to cover the story interface passage as part of Sugarcube 2.36. So there are some cases where we want to completely overwrite everything within Sugarcube. There are lots of different functionality within Sugarcube where we can do things with the sidebar, add things to the sidebar, change how things are displayed. And of course, we can tap into cascading style sheets, CSS, as part of the story style sheet option within Twine itself. Sometimes, though, we just want to replace everything with our own code, and we can do that. The Story Interface Passage, capital S, capital I, within Sugarcube allows us to replace the interface, everything, with our own content. Now, it comes with a little bit of a caveat. So this area right here is where the readers and players interact with passages. In order to do this, you have to have this element right here with this attribute ID equals passages, because that's where the passages are going to go. We're going to replace everything, and I do mean everything, with this content right here. And so when it draws passages, renders passages to the screen, it needs to know where to put them. So we have to include this line right here somewhere in this passage. Now, when I say replaces everything, if I go to build and play, it replaces everything. The sidebar is gone, everything is gone, except the content that appeared within this passage right here. And notice the passages right here, Example one, right here with a link to example two, occurred right here where the division element was. So that's where the passages are being created. But if you want to completely rewrite the entire interface to the story within Sugarcube, you can do it in one single passage. You don't necessarily need to tap into more advanced things like CSS and other functionality. It's an incredibly powerful tool within the Sugarcube toolbox, but again, replaces everything. So be very, very careful when using it. Thanks for watching.